The striking transport workers met the full force of heavily armed riot police as they staged their protest through the center of Lima. Several people were arrested and others were manhandled during the demonstration in favor of higher wages and better working conditions. The strikers say 70% of the city's bus fleet is off the road because there isn't enough money for repairs. But such grievances seem to fall beside the severity of the police, who use tear gas and baton charges to break up the demonstration. The protesters put up makeshift barricades, but were soon driven back. Peru's security forces are reported to be angry with the country's new president, Alan Garcia, for forcing some 500 senior officers into early retirement, and took this opportunity to show it. Elsewhere in the city, two policemen were the victims of an attack thought to have been carried out by left-wing guerrillas. They had been on duty outside a newspaper office when four people drove up and shot them at point-blank range. The two men were members of a crack counterinsurgency unit and had recently returned from the city of Ayacucho, where Peruvian security forces have been mounting a long and bitter campaign to try to curb guerrilla activity.